Dave and welcome to To The Table. Today we're going to be taking a look at Agricola. This is the 2016 revised edition published by Mayfair Games in partnership with Lookout Games. This is a worker placement resource management game for one to four players. Ages 12 and up plays in anywhere from 40 minutes up to two hours depending upon the number of players and the type of players that you are playing with. And in Agricola, you take on the role of a farming family who has their own plot of land and over the course of the game you are tasked with developing your farm as well as your house and your family uh, to try and grow it and be the most uh, efficient and productive as you can and at the end of the game you're going to be scored or penalized on how you perform. So if you are interested in seeing how the game is played and also how this new edition looks, I did a solo game playthrough, a complete game, all 14 rounds, that uh, if you click on the link, it'll be up in the corner of the screen or also in the video description below. We'll take you over there and you can check that out. But uh, in this particular video, before I get to my final thoughts, I wanted to talk about some differences between the previous edition, which I have here, and uh, some compatibility things that I've discovered. And then we'll talk about my thoughts of the, on the game. So, um, in this particular edition, we have a complete facelift of this game. Everything uh, about this edition, uh, in terms of its appearance and presentation, has been changed. So if we look at the two games side by side, let's start off looking at the artwork. This is the Z-Man edition from before. This is the new Mayfair edition, and if you look at this, let's look at the artwork, and you can see the maturity in Clemens Franz's artwork, because on the Mayfair edition, there's a lot more depth and definition in the, uh, in the artwork itself. Uh, there's more shadowing, and the animals look at least happy. This one, the pig looks a little dreary. You can see down there, this one, at least the pig has his head up. He looks a little happy. So... Uh, and just the whole, all the way around, even on the spine and the shelf, you can see there's very, they're similar, so you get the same feel. However, uh, this one just has a better look all the way around. So, um, <clears throat> with that cleaned up look, some things that I really, really like about it. Um, my, my edition of Agricola, all of the resource pieces are discs and cubes. And so with... And it was very, very sterile feeling, very, very boring. I know some later editions had the animal meeples and the veggie meeples and stuff. Uh, but this one here has all of those shaped pieces. They, they look great. Uh, one of the things that is new for this one is the farmer pieces, instead of being discs, are actually shaped farmer. So that's something new for this one, because even the previous editions, it was discs. Uh, a couple other things that I like about this particular one in terms of presentation is the board layout. Uh, I like how the board is shaped as we go from uh, round to round. Uh, the heart, as we progress through the game, <clears throat> the harvests are closer and closer together and the board is actually shaped to reflect that and I really like how that looks on there and I also like the little jigsaw uh, section where the piece, where the boards go together, it keeps everything uh, uniform because uh, instead of having separate boards where they are uh, folding out. One of the other nice things on here is that all of the point scoring that you'll get at the end of the game is easily referenced on the um, on the game board itself. The previous edition, you would have to look on the back of one of the other boards to see what all the scoring, the point scoring things were. So uh, this just makes it less fiddly that way. <clears throat> Now, some of uh, the biggest change between the two games comes from the fact that uh, they decreased the player count. This is a one to five player game. This is a one to four players. And uh, this one, they will have a five to six player expansion coming for it. But uh, they decided right here to decrease the player count. I'm not sure why, but um, the way that this comes, it just seems to be a, 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 neat, a more approachable game. Now, uh, <clears throat> in decreasing the number of players, big, huge thing that uh, in this one, there was 360 cards that came in this game. So there was a whole bunch of cards, bunch of 
occupations, bunch of minor improvements. This one, there's only like 120 cards total. So 360 cards total in this one, 120 cards. That's a third of the cards. So uh, in this one, not all of the not all the cards were useful, and not all of them were good. So what they did with this one is essentially took a sampling of the best cards from the Agricola base game, as well as some of the other decks and some other. Uh, cards that had been developed by uh, Agricola enthusiasts as well as Uwe Rosenberg and they took a sampling of them They took the best and most useful cards and put them in here So this one may not have as many cards in here But there are a lot more of them that are good and are useful. So I like that <clears throat> So uh, that's the big difference between the two games the visual appearance and then also the cards uh, the rules have been uh, cleaned up. It's still the same rules, but uh, there has uh, been a, a, a massively improved rule book. So the new rule book is a lot easier to understand. It has an appendix that explains everything. So they've just done a better job of making Agricola approachable in the new edition. And a couple of new things that are in here that weren't in the previous edition is there are a couple of additional boards that come in the game. One is called the side job and then there's another supplemental board uh, for players to use if they decide not to use cards in the game during their first few plays. It just gives a couple of extra spaces especially to bake bread and also to um, do a few more actions, uh, open up the game a little bit, make it not so harsh. So I like that there are some uh, modifiers for the game that come included in here. So that's something that comes in here but was not in the previous edition. So uh, that's something to look forward to in this one. Now, uh, some compatibility issues. Uh, the, there was a, a difference in the artistic approach. Uh, the previous edition, all of the cards, there was, um, it said occupations and minor improvements on the back of the cards in this edition. Here, it does not say that, it's just the pictures of either the book or the person with the wheelbarrow full of hay that they're walking. And so, um, trying to use some of the older cards in this new edition can be difficult. Um, you could, if you sleeve these, if you wanted to mix the two of them together, but uh, that's something that you're probably not going to want to invest in a lot of sleeves. However, <clears throat> if you were to pick this up, this edition, you can still use some of the Agricola cards that are out there because there were some of these, if you see them floating around, these are some of these uh, country decks. This happens to be the France one, this is the Netherlands one. And these come with 120 cards apiece and uh, 60 occupations, 60 minor improvements in each of them. You can use these with this edition, just use these cards on their own, which is the best way to um, enjoy these anyways. Don't dilute them with the rest of the game, but you can still use these decks with this particular game. So if you see these, you can pick them up and use them with them. So it's not completely incompatible. So um, that's one thing that uh, I've seen some uh, posts on the Board Game Geek forums about that it's not compatible. Well, you can do that if you do what I suggested. So. Uh, now, let's talk about my thoughts on the game itself. Now, I am a huge fan of Agricola. It is one of my favorite games. I love worker placement games. Uh, probably one of my uh, favorite and best games in my collection. I've had this one for a while now. I've played it a bunch. In fact, I have the Farmers on the Moor expansion here. This thing is pretty loaded up. If I were to show you everything in here, oh, just have some pieces falling out, but Lots of uh, stuff in here that gets used. Um, bags are kind of beat up, but anyways, uh, <clears throat> this has been in my collection and it's going to be staying in my collection uh, for a while. But uh, in fact, um, this game I prefer over Caverna, which came out later on, because one of the driving factors in this game is the replayability and the use of the cards that come in the game. Because uh, when you're playing Agricola, uh, opposed to um, Caverna, you um, have these minor improvement and occupation cards that, depending upon what you have in your hand, can dictate the strategy that you play. And so it's going to vary the game uh, from game to game, how you're going to play, depending upon the cards that you have. Because 
they are very, very useful. And so uh, that's one of the things that sets this game apart for me from Caverna. Sure, Caverna's got a lot more things that uh, you can build throughout the game, but it's always the same stuff there. It's always the same game. So that's um, when I talk about Agricola uh, to people, I prefer this one. Now, there are other people that may disagree with me, and that's fine. Um, but there are also people that will agree with what I say when it comes to the replayability issue with this game. Now, speaking directly about this revised edition, uh, things that I really like about it, I like the fact that the rules are cleaned up and much easier to understand. And so somebody who's going to purchase a copy of this is going to be able to get up and play very, easel, uh, very um, easily. Uh, one of the nice little additions that came in this game are called suggestion tokens that uh, if you're teaching people to play the game and they're not really getting it, you can use these little suggestion tokens to drop them down on the board and, sh and essentially coach the player that you're playing against or playing with uh, some of the actions that they should take till they get the hang of the game. And so instead of saying, well, I would do this, this, or that, you just subtly drop these little things on the board and they say, what is that? Well, those are suggestion tokens, things that you may want to go to. So I like that from a teaching aspect of the game. Uh, I love the new appearance of the game. I really believe that uh, this is a gorgeous addition, and this is one that uh, certainly uh, is much more uh, table uh, beautifying than the original game, so I like how this one looks. And a couple things from a family perspective. Man, this game uh, really does uh, get to the heart of understanding uh, a lot about farming and developing things. You have uh, animal breeding in there, you have uh, crop production, see, and you have those things. It's also going to really, really teach you uh, in this game about managing your resources. Now, one complaint about Agricola is that it is a very uh, pressing game when it comes to being able to feed your family and managing the food and that has not changed any in this game. It is still that harsh game where you still have to make sure that you are performing actions or setting yourself up to be able to produce food so that you can keep your farmers going. It's a lot more challenging in the solo game because each of your farmers require three food instead of two. And so that's still something that uh, you're going to see in this particular version of the game. But I don't mind it. I like the challenge. Uh, I like that having that feeling of your back up against the wall and, and uh, you really have that tension, especially later in the game, if you feel you're behind of really trying to make every move count. So uh, the big question, though, is uh, should I buy this? Should I purchase this? And well, here's my thoughts on this. If you are pretty well invested with an older copy and you have everything for it, I would say it's not really necessary to buy this edition. If you are uh, okay with setting aside a lot of the cards and being able to, to have a semi-compatibility with these decks and you want to have a much nicer looking game, then yeah, pick this up. But the question is, if, if you do not own a copy of Agricola yet, would you, should I buy this? And the answer is yes, because I think this is a great st uh, jumping in point here um, that you're going to get a game that the rules are much better to understand. The game looks gorgeous. Um, playing only four players, I think the game plays really, really good with four um, and, and even uh, scales really well with less players. But I believe that this is essentially now, this is a great jumping in point for the game if you do not have it. So uh, it's kind of mixed. Like I said, if you have the older edition and you have like everything for it, including like the goodies and you've got a lot invested, I don't really feel that there's that much difference in here for you to buy the new edition. However, if you have not um, gotten yourself a copy of Agricola, this is the way to go get this newest edition because... Uh, this is just a great game, uh, one of my favorites, and I highly recommend this. So anyway, so that is uh, the new revised edition of Agricola, and uh, thank you for watching, and join me again next time. We'll talk about another game, review it, and uh, we'll try and keep bringing games to the table. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.